Welcome back, it's another day. We were combining weed. Oh, we're gonna be mowing hay today. So let's get started. Alrighty, so we're gonna be working on hooking this up. We got two hydraulics to hook up and then the PTO shaft. Here's our PTO shaft. Uh, this PTO shaft used to have the slide with three with the three little balls inside. And because it's so short, even though it's a CV shaft, whenever you would turn, it would um, burr up the PTO shaft on the tractor. And you'd have to either grind the PTO once you got it off or you couldn't get it off. So... Last time that we did it, we ended up tearing it all apart. And now we have just the holes. And we have these ball bearings out of this. You can see we can either use a hose clamp like this one, or I've got this heavy duty one here, which is the one I'm going to use. And we just take three ball balls out of the bag here from this ball bearing and we'll drop them in the hole with the hose clamp which I forgot to slide on so I take it all back off okay then we try to pull the PTO off you can see it's locked on there we go I will throw this wrench in the toolbox um, this bag usually can ride out here okay won't hurt nothing then we walk around back We'll have to pick it up and then we'll kick out our safety latches here. We double check our flail right there. Looks okay. Uh, all of our knives appear to be in decent shape. Looks like we have a couple that hit some rocks, but they don't appear to be too bad. Alrighty, we're off to the field. We finally got a good enough window that we can do some hay making. We've had rain, 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 rain for just enough time we couldn't get hay cut and baled for about a month. And we finally got a good enough forecast. So I'm gonna go out and try to cut some hay. Oh my, I got grease all over me from that PTO shaft. Just wipe it on my out. We have some orchard grass that still needs a first cutting. It's taller than I am headed out, but that don't hurt it. And I got some thistles out there I got to mow around. I don't want them in a hay bale. We'll, then we'll go out there and spray them after we get either the hay mowed or baled. Probably after we get it baled. Right, what we got behind us though is a 7 foot John Deere 1326 MoCo. I want to say it's from like the 90s ish. It's basically a coon disc bind or disc mower, whatever they call it. Painted green. I mean, all of our parts still come from coon, so. Yeah, I'll see you when we get out in the field. This is our mess of an orchard grass field here. Um, ooh, that was rough. Um, you can see we got a couple these thistle patches right here. I'm going to mow around and we'll spray them. You can see the orchard grass that's tall and dead here. That's all got ready to head out. It's throwing seeds. But underneath it's still got some good thick stuff. So the mare's tail's poking up in places. We'll, we'll see what we get out of this. It still shouldn't be too bad of hay. It just, we couldn't get out of here in time. It needed to be mowed a long time ago. So we'll get her fired up here. Thick stuff though. This 
this mower's got the capability to pull all 100 horses of this thing. Mama didn't raise no quitter, guaranteed to get the job done. She didn't raise no SOB that came back himself up and known to throw a good punch. And this old boy gets going when the going gets tough. Sun down or sun up, baby. Need a man with a helping hand. He's always got one to lend. Oh, I might be. So we got this field done. There's one thistle patch. Then we got that little patch in the back there done. It's also got a thistle patch. Don't mind the dirty window. Um, as you, you can clearly tell where orchard grass is thick and where it's not. You can see the windows are real thin where it's not, but where the orchard grass is coming up good, there's nice and big windrows. Um, we're gonna have to get out here and tent this soon. Probably tomorrow afternoon-ish, somewhere in there. We'll get the tops dry a little bit and then we'll come out and spread it out and flip it over. And hopefully we'll be bailing this Thursday afternoon, evening, and picking them up Friday morning. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll probably this should be enough footage out of the hay mowing here to make one whole video. So hopefully you enjoyed, and we'll catch you in the next one.